Hello friends, happy Thursday. Today there was a matching question and let's see how things matched up. If you matched up A3, B4, C2, and D1, you are right. But with an overflowing flood, he will make an utter end of its place. Darkness will pursue his enemies. Affliction will not rise up a second time and I will dig your grave. Nahum had some powerful words for Nineveh. If you remember, Nineveh had turned from its sin before when Jonah went to Nineveh. We just were in that book. And over the period of 150 years, they have gone back to their sin. And now their sin has reached a point where they are facing judgment. Then near the end of the chapter, you see how Judah is restored, which are the people who belong to God, and how Nineveh is destroyed. So there's kind of a contrast there where it's saying God is good, his people stayed with him, he loves his people, he delivers them, and those who do not turn from their sin, they face the judgment, unfortunately. He sent Jonah there so that these people could hear his voice and hear how to fix things and how to deal with their sin. It's just that they went back to it after time. So the whole chapter is uh, talking about their judgment and what's coming and this great and mighty nation. Everybody's really surprised because we're thinking these people can't win a war because they are so strong and mighty and it happens that they get just completely annihilated. So annihilated that up until like the 1840s, like nobody could even find this huge city, ginormous, huge city that was a capital, couldn't be found. That's how utterly, utterly destroyed it was. So let's take a note. When God speaks, let's listen. Let's turn from our sin. Let's hold on to him and make being close to him our first priority. I will see you back here next week. I won't tell you what book we're in. You can go and see what comes after Nahum, and I'll see you back here on Monday. Have a great weekend.